Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you all of my vintage old Hollywood books. So I have a whole bunch here as you can see of Marilyn Monroe, Elizabeth Taylor, and many more. And I'm kind of going to do a general flip through and kind of show you all of them. And I'll also link them below. So let's jump right in and look at all of my books. So as you can see, I have a lot of books about old Hollywood movie stars that I featured in my video. And my, my finger, my cat scratched me this morning so I have a band-aid on there. So I realized I'm going to break down my videos into different categories and this is kind of a quick flip through just to show you all the books that I have. And if you want me to focus on one in more detail, let me know in the comments below because if I were to flip through all of these, this would be a very long video. So this is kind of like a quick overlook. So this one is Sharon Tate's estate from Julian's Auction and I bought this one recently. I really like it. It goes through like all her possessions, like her fashion and like it's what I use for my video. You can see all her clothes and has really nice photos inside and it shows like all her home decor items, her like wedding dress and there's even photos like of her perfume that she wore. So I think this one's really good if you love Sharon Tate. And that's how I found out about all the products that she used. And I really like this one. And I actually might do a detailed video showing the products that I have that she has. Because I own a few of these. Like I own this machine. I own that. So I think that could be an interesting video. So that is the Sharon Tate one. And these are in no particular order. And here is another Julian's Auction one. And this is a legendary woman of Hollywood, so it features a whole bunch of people, but again, it has really good photos inside. There's good, I think there's like Lucille Ball in here. There's a whole bunch of people in like different gowns, stuff like that. I really like these books from Julian's Auction, and you can buy all of the old catalogs. Okay, this one has a lot of Lucille Ball, there's Marilyn Monroe. Just interesting looking at all the old letters, stuff like that. So I really like this one. And this is a Sophia Loren beauty book. And this one, I think she talks all about her beauty routine. I should do another video of her diet, fashion and style, skincare, beauty. So it looks like an interesting book and obviously she's aged really well and is still alive today. So there's a lot of beauty ticks. This is an old book, I think it might be from the 80s. But yeah, it goes through basically everything like lipsticks, makeup. So I'll definitely have to look into this one and read it into detail. So let me know if this is interesting to you. Yeah, she has everything in here, foot care, body care hand care yeah so there's a lot of inf information in here so this is an older book i got this one on amazon it's hardcover i think i believe it's from the 80s and yeah so there's that one and then i have another sharon tate one and this one was written by her sister deborah tate and this is a nice book again. It's beautiful pictures. And it talks about her bio. Everything. So this is a really good book. It has all these old photos of her. So I really like this one. It's really great if you're a Sharon Tate fan again. She has lots of really nice photos. It's written by her sister. So this is a really good Sharon Tate book. I like the colored pages and stuff, the pink and the purple. And then I have a Brigitte Bardot one. This one is her life in fashion. Again, I love the pink. I feel so bad about my hand. Obviously the band-aid now is not making this video look pretty. 
pinky jumped on me this morning when I was washing my face onto the sink and then landed on my hand. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> it's a quite a big gash. Anyways. And yeah, so there's lots of pictures in this one with her clothing, costumes, kind of her style through the decades. It's a nice picture book again. Just kind of see the evolution. that one and then we have a grace kelly one and this one is grace kelly hollywood a dream girl and this one again has really beautiful photos lots of photos in this one i really like this one this is a really nice book. And here we have Styling the Stars. And I believe this one it's a whole bunch of like behind the scenes photos on set. Like all the movie stars. They're like film still, stuff like that. This one's really good, it's really thick. But well, there's some interesting photos in here that I like. Yeah, look, there's like Baby Jane and stuff. That Betty Davis is really cool. Oh, I like that mirror she has with her name on it. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's interesting. You kind of see, see them behind the scenes. There's Elizabeth Taylor and Cleopatra. Yeah, this one's really good. Like everyone in this book. Like Betty Davis again. There's Marilyn Monroe. Yes, yeah, so I really like this one. There's nice photos to look through. And here we have an Audrey Hepburn one. This is Audrey style. So it kind of goes through her wardrobe and like different decades. She talks about her style. I think that's a really good book. I just like the photos and stuff. It just breaks down everything. This one's really good if you're an Audrey fan. And then we have some vintage ones. This is Elizabeth Taylor's diet. Elizabeth takes off. I bought this one for her diet video. And as you can see, the pages are pretty old. And this just talks about how she lost the weight her diet and like it has meal plans in it basically everything it's kind of a funny book she has some interesting tips in there but yeah this is a whole book it's on like weight gain weight loss self-image self-esteem and there's pictures in the middle you can still buy this one i ended up getting a vintage one on amazon and then i got jane mansfield in the american 50s and I think this one talks all about the 1950s and James Mansfield. I haven't read this one yet, but I thought it looked interesting. 
I just like the cover too. And here we have an Audrey Hepburn one, Timeless Lessons for Living with Grace and Style. What would Audrey do? This is Audrey Hepburn inspired. There's like packing tips. Making a house at home. So I think it's just like tips for everything. So it's kind of just like a fun when it talks about things that Audrey Hepburn like liked and disliked in there. So yeah, it's kind of a good book. For pictures and stuff. And now we have another Julian's Auction one. This is Greta Garbo's catalog. And this one's from 2012. I think I bought this one on eBay. But yeah, it goes through her whole estate, like all her clothing, everything. It's kind of interesting. It has everything in here. And then we have Elizabeth Taylor. This is all of her jewelry. It has really nice photos of everything she owns. I really like this book. If you're a fan of jewelry and Elizabeth Taylor, I highly recommend this one. There's just a lot to look at. It, it talks about all of her pieces and everything. And has really nice photos. It's a cool book. Just like looking at all the pictures everything. I recommend this one if you're a fan of hers. And then we have an Edie Sedgwick book. This is an older one too. And it talks all about her and stuff. It's a bio. I'm very interested in her. So I recommend this one if you're a fan of hers. It's quite big, but I feel like she's had an interesting life story. And now we have a Natalie Wood book. And I think this one's a newer book too. It has lots of photos of Natalie Wood in it. If you're a Natalie Wood fan, I recommend this one. It's a really nice book. I'm obsessed with this photo with the TV and that cat. I just want that. Oh my god, I love that too. I really like these photos. Oh my god, is this her bedroom? I'm jealous. Her decor is so nice. Yeah, I just love the photos. There's lots in here. And the last two are Marilyn Monroe books. This one is all letters and poems from Marilyn Monroe. Like all of her writing, like handwritten and typed letters, poems. It's really interesting, especially if you're a Marilyn fan. I like this one. And they rewrite them on the right hand side so you can read it. There's even sketches. It's kind of cool that someone saved all this. I like her diary. And lastly, uh, this one, it's from Christie's auction, the personal property of Marilyn Monroe. And this one's really good. It's massive. But it basically has everything in it, like her entire estate, tons of like clothing. You can look through her whole wardrobe, dresses, it has makeup. I think I got this one. Oh, I can't remember if it was eBay. But it's really good. I like this one because it just has everything in here, like jewelry. And then at the end, it's like all her like houseware, books literally everything 
so I like this one. I think it's pretty good. Anyways, let me know if you want to see any of them in more detail, if you own any of these, and I'll also link them all below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any of these books and which one is your favorite. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!